So it sounds like Nickel State is going to be able to make it, and that's what we You know, we, 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 we uh, talked about a lot of contingencies yesterday. Actually, Bobby D came over, and I haven't heard anything since then, so you obviously know more than I do right now, but uh, that's good. Because that I know how disruptive that is. That's a that's a rough ride, and uh, it's it's no fun to deal with when you're trying to get ready for a game. Is it what contingencies if it can happen? Is it still playable? Uh, yeah, I think uh, the contingencies talked about were about playing it sometime. Do you ever experience anything like that when you're? Playing? Oh yeah, yeah. You know, it is it is it's kind of par for the course eventually right there's there's can't remember all the different circumstances but there have been a few and one of them for sure was when we were in new orleans and some of them are not from a hurricane you know one of them what it really was changed all of our world was 9 11. that changed a lot of football stuff right in there i can't remember anything down there uh probably just a hair too long ago <laughs> I was just curious, have you talked to Brandon Harden since news came out that he's not going to be able to play? No, no, but, uh, you know, uh, the, the what, what I think they put him on injured reserve, which is rough, but good. Right. I mean, that means they're going to keep him and he can rehab and, and uh, he'll get his salary and uh, then he can hopefully be ready to go next year. Sorry about that. Um, the other day I walked by the Sports Performance Center and I think I saw you doing yoga. Are you... Wasn't me. <laughs> Are you sure? I, I thought... I'm, I, first of all, I know it was you, but I thought it was yoga. So. <laughs> it didn't look quite like yoga. <laughs> I've heard you do yoga. Now. I'm not. I'm not I, no. my, my daughter taught uh, my wife and I a, a routine, mm -hmm. and I've actually been doing it since summer, and, I, and uh, I, it's good for me. I'm not very flexible, and then I don't do a lot of strength training in my job, right? So I think it's good. It takes a half hour, and I can do that. Does so, it help with, like, mental? Yeah, I think so. You know, I used to be a runner, and my knees don't allow me. I, I used to run every day 30 minutes, and that was the best thing. I loved that better than all of this because you could go, wherever I was, I went outside, and I ran, and I ran. I didn't miss a day for four and a half years. Yeah, I was, that was pretty, and I was obsessive, right? I wake up and go, what am I going to run today? <laughs> but uh, I can't do that anymore. We've, uh, we've wondered as the media if you guys, with all the hamstring issues, you should take up yoga as a team so maybe you could lead the team in oh, some. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know that I could demonstrate well enough to show them <laughs> what, what's helpful. Uh, we have to get somebody else. Um, I spoke to a couple of your players about different pregame rituals that they have. Some of them are superstitious, some of them do the same thing. Is there anything you do in that pregame? You know, I have a real routine, but it's kind of just routine that I have to do before a game. You know, it's it's all the stuff with the, the game plans and all the game preparation stuff. And uh, besides that, I really, you know, it's it's pretty routine. I mean, there's only so many things you can do when you're in, in, in my shoes. Now, player, all about the uniform, tape, T-shirt under the pads. I've heard of all sorts of different stuff. The one guy, one guy that we had at USC wore this high school T-shirt with this high school Orfino Maniacs. He was from Orfino, Idaho. He wore it every game for four years. Oh yeah, yeah. It was just in tariffs, you know. But so speaking of game prep, coach, you know what have you been focusing on the most this week when it comes to Nickel State? You know, there's a whole process to game prep that is, it's all about focusing on situations. So you focus hard a couple of days on first and ten. You know what you're gonna, how you're gonna run the ball on first down, and first and ten entails second and regular. You know, from from from, from two to eight, somewhere in there, and and all that stuff and then another day you focus a little more on third down and then like today we focus more on the red zone goal line and then tomorrow we put it all together with you know finally choosing woods as your running back how has the success been running on first and ten well we're good against ourselves <laughs> i don't know we we will only prove we can run the ball again when we do it in the games um, Coach Cab jumped out of his golf cart a couple times today, and Enrico had to go chase him after him. Are you a little worried he might go bonkers up in the coach's booth on, on game day? Might have to tie him in the chair. I don't know. He's probably, I bet a line coach like him has never been in the box for a game. Have you asked him that? 
No, in I'm his life. just feeling for And it's weird. Stuff, <laughs> yeah, and it's it's weird because uh, I did that one game when I was at SC, and I'd always been on the field, right? Except way back when I used to coach secondary. And uh, so I went up. I thought I'd call the plays better. I felt like a fish out of water. You really feel disassociated. You know, it's a, it's a weird feeling.